K4 Lima, Japan Echo. K4 Lima, Japan Echo. Yes, sir. KC9 VKV. K4 LJE. Uh, here we are from the Garden of Eden down here. Name is Jim. Obviously. Now, are you in your mobile? Not quite. I'm, uh, I'm on my home station here now. Ah, Roger. Well, tell me about your antenna system. Okay, well, the antenna system here is a... Uh, in fed wire in the uh, shape of an L sort of it kind of slopes up from the ground feed point is about uh, six feet high on a post with a, uh, uh, a transformer the, uh, the old standard design from the, uh, my, my antennas but uh, this is kind of my own little brew here slopes up at about a 45 degree angle turns into uh, the L shape and horizontal for about 65 feet uh, a bunch of uh, radials uh, tied the ground into my radial system for my vertical. So, and we're doing about uh, 1,300 watts out here with the SB220 and the uh, SB104A heat kit. Uh, Roger. Roger. Well, a good, uh, easy uh, 10 over my uh, noise level. Uh, good 10 over my noise level sounds really good. I s still suggest that uh, you get a uh, windscreen for that microphone. Windscreen on it. My goodness, uh, what mic is that? Okay, it is a Rode, R O D E, Rode, uh, Australian made condenser microphone, NT1. Roger, I think I have that mic. It's a black, uh, is it a large diaphragm condenser? Uh, yes, it is. I may be hitting it too hard. I backed off on the gain a little bit right there. Uh, hello, one, two, three, uh, over. Yeah, yeah, and it's got a phone windscreen? Yeah, and it's also got a metal pop filter in front of it. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, I, you know, uh, it uh, did have a little bit of uh, stuff in it, but uh, it uh, is uh, clean now, so maybe it was just, uh, uh, you know, too, too close proximity, Roger. Okay, well, I did back off a little bit, uh, both in distance and also uh, on the game here. I have a tendency to do that. Uh, I need to uh, smack myself on the wrist, I guess. <laughs> don't do that <laughs> I know how that goes uh, but it's not good and, and you're yeah, now I'm going to tell you that your base uh, sometimes uh, well your mobile gives your base a run for the money oh really okay well I listened to the mobile uh, I, I came in there uh, last week you know and uh, I listened to myself there and uh, I was right proud of it yes sir that thing was uh you know, really uh, doing a great job there, and you you could tell the difference between the uh, our compressor on and off, and you understood what I was saying about it. Oh my God, yes. Oh Lord, it was. Uh, oh man, it was just a terrible, terrible uh, big difference there, Roger. Yeah, well, I mean, it did what it was supposed to do, you know, but uh, unless you were on the other side of the hill, you probably wouldn't need it, Roger. I usually don't use it, and, and ordinarily I don't have any problem with it there. But uh, anyhow, uh, I'm not going to be afraid. Uh, see, you have uh, helped me conquer my fear. I shall not be afraid now. Yea, though I walk through the valley of uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're sounding, sounding great as always, Jim. Yeah, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't think I've got a uh, report on this microphone. But on this old rig here, I, I was uh, unsure, and I, I got enough garbage that this thing goes through first. Uh, there's no telling what I was going to end up with, but uh, thank you very much for the report, and I'll, I'll get out of here and let uh, somebody else uh, worry you there. Uh, K4LJE73. Roger, Roger, yeah. Uh, and you're, are you having to run a, a phantom power supply for that mic? Yeah, I do. It's, uh, it's on the, I've got it in a mixer. It's running through a mixer, and it's built in. Oh, I see. Well, doing a great job there. Your EQ curve looks uh, just beautiful, you know. Not a bunch on the bottom end, but, uh, you know, like I always say, if you're, um, you know, balanced tremendously on the bottom to the top and then Mother Nature does phase cancellation on your top end, then you're left with all the bottom end and uh, no articulation. So uh, to safeguard that, it's better, I think, to, uh, to uh, kind of slant out uh, on the bottom side as opposed to being, you know, zero level at 100 cycles. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I've tried uh, listening to myself and getting some more, uh, getting some more bottom in. Before I go completely here, let's uh, 
Let's see. Uh, let's, let's try that right then. It's on the 250. That's on the 250 side right there. K4LJE. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. That's a couple of notches right there. That sounds pretty good. I mean, it does. You know, it's got a little more bottom end. It's not, uh, not uh, a major, but it does uh, sound pretty nice, Roger. Okay, well, let's give it a little bit more. Uh, right there, it's uh, about midway. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Listen to my radio. Roger, I'm looking at my uh, my meter here and my spectrum analyzer, and you're you're looks to be rolling at about 200 cycles now uh, where you stand, Roger. Okay. Yeah, the uh, I tried the uh, the uh, 125. It's a seven band uh, graphic EQ on this thing. I tried the 125 and I couldn't even tell any difference at all. But uh, I could on the uh, I could on the 250. Okay, so right there she is, and right there she's going to stay. Thank you very much, Jim. Yes, sir. Sounds beautiful. Threes to you, Jim. Thanks for checking in, man. As always, uh, a beautiful signal from uh, North Carolina. Yeah, thank you much. 73 and. Uh, See you later, and uh, God bless uh, each and everyone listening on Frequency, and let's all uh, look to the man upstairs and uh, hang on. All right, keep your head down and hang on. Roger, roger. This is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and the uh, Friday afternoon Kiss of V-Log Net. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.